Alright guys, well, good to stop by the lab because you guys already know what this is. It's, um, it's an Xbox 360 and um, the reason why I didn't play with this, um, this object right here is that I play video games at a competitive level and I also coach at a competitive level for video games. And the game I coach and play is Call of Duty. I know you guys have heard of that game. Everyone plays it. Um, so, uh, I actually started playing, uh, not beginning Call of Duty, but I actually started with Rainbow Six Vegas. You know, I played, I played at the same time, but then I transitioned to Call of Duty because, you know, I just found it more fun. Uh, so, I'm going to explain how this part of my life, my culture. So, uh, the way Call of Duty uh, competitive is played, just to give you background on how it's played, right? There's actually a set of rules. You have to have a certain, uh, you can use certain attachments, you know, you guys have played it. There's stuff you can use, uh, uh, certain game types and certain maps, you know, so people could, the teams could have a different, uh, an equal opportunity, you know, you can't have one map that's too lopsided for one team that they have no chance of beating the other one, you know, you want to have an even a competitive match when you're going up against another team. And uh, the way also uh, organizations um, like Major League Gaming, that's actually a, a big organization for competitive players, and competitive uh, games is uh, they pick which console is actually has a bigger competitive fan base, which happens to be the Xbox, and you know not the Wii or not the PlayStation. More people have the Xbox, more people play at a competitive level. And uh, some people may think that you know uh, playing competitive level is easy because you know some people are like you could just sit. I know you. I'm pretty sure you guys have half family members, uh, you know little cousins, and all the family members that are probably just on the Xbox or PlayStation playing it for hours on end. And, you know, to some extent, I mean, it is true that if you, you're just staying there playing all the time, um, you will get better and you could play at a level. But at the same time, um, it's not true. Because, okay, put an example. Uh, if you guys have, say, someone who's playing basketball for the rest of your life, right? Uh, you have a group of buddies, you guys are playing, you guys are good, right? But if you get put up against a professional team, they're gonna beat you guys. It's common sense, they're just gonna beat you because they understand the game better. Um, they could pick it up quicker and, you know, obviously, you know, they have the size, they probably have the size against you, but um, that's one thing also for competitive games, you have to understand the game. It's uh, actually like a sport, you know, basketball, you have to um, have, you have to learn the plays, you know, set screens, um, just a lot of, a lot of uh, thinking goes into it, a lot of uh, plays and uh, same thing goes for Call of Duty and many other games as well. You have to understand the game. You have to play a specific way. It's actually, there's a lot of thinking to it about It's not just, you know, you get a controller, aim it, shoot. No, there's a lot of thinking. It's actually a lot of pressure. And um, and the worst, and the best thing is that when you go to these events, you know, you actually are up on main stage. You're up playing in front of hundreds and thousands of people in the stage, and you're also being streamed online. And the reason why I identify with this culture, well, I've been a gamer my whole life, basically. You know, I remember when uh, playing Contra on the Nintendo, you know, just playing with my brothers, playing with my dad, and friends too. And, um, and well, I'm a competitive guy, so that's one reason why I identify with a lot, you know, like competition, like playing with, you know, the best, you could say. And the uh, experiences I've had, I've actually had a lot of cool experiences. I've played with people from Spain, um, England, Australia, I played with a lot of people, you know, a lot of people from Mexico, Brazil, I played with a lot of people. And I've met cool friends too, you know, you think you play online, you know, you're never gonna see those people. I've actually met some of my online friends that I've played uh, with over like six years. So it's actually pretty cool, I have cool experiences um, going to these little local events, winning some money too. I've actually won a uh, couple tournaments, also with my brother, my brother plays too. And um, yeah, guys, that's how I identify. Um, with this culture, I mean, if you guys ever want to play in competitively, you know, it's, it's fun because, you know, you can go to these events and you can experience cool things. Some people actually um, are able, sponsors actually fly people out to different countries, you know. Um, there's this also other one called EGL, the European Gaming Ladder, where they bring uh, North American teams to go play over there. So, you know, it's a cool experience. You know, you would think that just playing video games, it's you're just, you're just there wasting your time to some people. But some people actually take it serious. They make money off it, they make a living off it, and they get to, get to travel around the world. Um, so yeah, guys, that's my speech. Hope you guys enjoyed it.